Hello and welcome to Book Buzz, brought to you by the Peter Sancho Book Library. I am Miss Shannon. And I'm Miss Linda, and we are here to, oh my gosh, start talking about our June, I want to say festivities. I mean, not even just June programs. It's going to be a festive month. It is a full calendar of events. That it is. is. Sure. Actually, not just for June, for the whole summer, but yes. we'll just stick with June for yes. now. Actually, the first half of June. So, um, we're going to start talking about it. Should we wear our hats? See, don't you like? I like it. Now, should we have the let's, does the let's get wild go in the front or does it go in the back? Uh, you got a dent in yours too, so I don't feel I so do. bad that I crushed mine. Mine's, I popped it back up though. I, we can fix it. See, look. High quality right there. It is. Wow. What we, what'd you pay? Buck 50? 25. Buck 25. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm putting it in the, are you putting yours in the back? I can't. I, is it? Yours is in the back, yeah. That's okay. You can put it wherever you want. I just want people to know that I'm wild. With yeah. the, okay. Oh. All right. So this <laughs> might give you a hint to what our theme is. I don't know. <laughs> you don't think? Okay. Well, maybe not. <laughs> this is, um, we're going to be beginning uh, the summer reading program, which is Adventure Begins at Your Library. And we are starting June 1st. Wow, first day of the month and right yep. through August. Yeah, it is earlier this year, but mm -hmm. it, um, it just how the calendar falls. Mm -hmm. um, but on the flip side, that we don't really have any additional weeks of our in-person like programming, but the kids do have several more days that they can log their reading. Because as soon as the kickoff That's happens, true. Um, you can get sign up. You can actually pre-register ahead of time, even, and then as soon as June first hits, you're all automatically like in and ready to go. Mm -hmm. You can start recording your reading, so that gives you some extra time to get those minutes in That's there. That's true. Which we need to it, um, probably talk about that a little bit between now and the next episode about um, what we're doing again, like we did last year, yes. and get everybody up. And then they thought for now. Uh, <clears throat> We want to get them. You want to be at the library on June 1st. Yes. It is, well, who doesn't love a party? And you can certainly include uh, Miss Shannon and I. So, um, yeah. <laughs> right? We love a good party. Mm -hmm. So on June 1st, come to a good one. We pray for good weather, do a lot of stuff outside. Yep. We have entertainment with our favorite musical duo, Josh and Gab. Yeah, and who, rumor has it, is performing are performing at many of the um, reading, library now. kickoffs. Yes, but I kind of feel like, you know, we knew them when. Yeah, we did know them when. We're the ones that started that. Yes, I'm sure of it because it's been so many years. We started it when they were we were inside. We it's just. I feel like we could have honestly have had Josh and Gab almost as long as we've been on Book Buzz. You think it's not, been? If not close to it. Well, we had them before I had Lucas, and he's eight. Okay. Yeah, that's possible. Is you mean from when we had them inside? Right. Yeah. And yeah, you know, we didn't start them with the summer reading until like that was a post COVID kind of thing because yeah. you want to be outside and stuff. Because yeah. we used to have them at National Take Your Kids to the Library Day, which is the first weekend in February. Right. Um, and then we switched. Yeah. Actually, they sang to me on my thirtieth birthday, but I'm not going to say how many years ago that was. I remember. <laughs> uh, that's right. I do. That was remember. a very special day, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Yeah, that is. <laughs> But that was just a handful of years ago, maybe. Uh, but like one. <laughs> he, all right. So just in their defense for uh, Josh and Gab, um, yes, we may have started it, and they've kind of grown, and they go everywhere. But who do you, I'm going to say this, and if anybody complains or whatever, who do you think their favorite library is? Well, I mean. Yeah, I mean, they obviously. have, they, they, we are on their, they're just a running a program yes. every standing single gig. year, standing gig every time. They've already got us for next year. First yep. Saturday in June, nobody else will get them but us. See? And they get and, excited. Yeah, and they are so good. So if you're not familiar yet, if you have yeah. not come and seen them for the past however many years we've had them at the library, um, you don't want to miss it. Like they are phenomenal performers, mm -hmm. so inspiring, so energetic great with the kids. The kids love it. I mean, I know all the songs by heart. I have the CD. Like, it's, mm -hmm. they're great. I, yep. I, you know, and the music is fun. It's positive. Like, positive. Yep. Stuff that kids can sing along and dance to, mm -hmm. but not in the corny little kid music stuff. No, not stuff. at all. You know? Not at all. Like, mm -mm. um, 
I'm well, not going to, well, you know, say any artists or anything that would fall into that category, in my opinion. Yeah, but, but definitely not them. No. Yeah, like music that the whole family can enjoy together. Absolutely. I was going to say all ages. Mm -hmm. It really does. And they do some parodies of, like, some popular, like, like Billboard Top 20 kind of songs, mm -hmm. but like with the more Different. positive lyrics, they do yeah. that. Yeah. They have a lot of original music. They write a lot of their music themselves. Mm -hmm. Just a great time. So we have them. That's like the like the highlight like performance of the day. But we also have yep. other events going on um, all afternoon. So this from 11:30 to 12:30, they hit the stage at what 12 at noon. At yep. noon. Um, we are going to right before they hit the stage, we are going to announce our first ever. Um, bookmark decorating contest winners. So that is, we had a lot of um, participants in that. We we're not revealing to anyone until the event of when, who the winner is. Right. So that's going to be really cool. It's going to be really cool. And I'm glad you brought that up because I have to, last night at the chess, I was sitting across, a little girl was going to play against her. You know, she didn't have a partner because we were short one. So Mr. Uh, G throws me into the, you know, the wolves, you know. And I'm like, okay. And I was going to make a move. She said, I wouldn't move that one. Uh. And I'm like, okay, how, is this one better? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, she just stopped and she got real quiet and she looked at me and she goes, have they picked the winners yet Aww. of the, of the uh, bookmarks? And I went, and I didn't want to, you know, give too much information. And I just said, no. And you know what? Um, I said, everybody's going to find out at our kickoff party. Yeah. So that's where you'd want to go and, and find out. And, and she started describing hers. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. We had so many wonderful oh my participants gosh. and submissions. So and many. So it's, it's, it, this is the first year we've done it, but we really are looking forward to it becoming a tradition as oh, part of the summer reading program. It, oh, I was so touched that yeah. out of the blue. Aww. That they, yeah. So I love that. Mm -hmm. But Okay, so we have that going that on. That going on, and then we'll have um, like photo booths and crafts and all kinds of activities inside. You'll be able to get your summer reading goodie bag, which you don't want to miss because it's the best stuff you're going to get all summer. All wrapped up in one little pretty bag. Right. We have Fetch. Fetch, the library, the library dog, dog mascot, will be, um, what? I always say hippity hoppity, but no, dogs don't do that. So Wagner's tail around the library. Yep. And um, what's a food truck? We'll get ice. Yeah, some sort of a nice shaved truck. ice will be there. Yep. And also the first several um, people that come to pick up their goodie bag, I think will get a coupon for, like, for, free? for, for free ice. Yeah. Nice. So you might want to line up. You know, they, they line up for the puzzle swap. Late. I think they should be lining up for the kickoff. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be, it's just, it's fun. We look forward to it. Too. Yes. It's crazy fun. It's, it is. It mm -hmm. makes the day go by really fast. Yeah, it does. So. That's yeah. it. So w then we can talk maybe next time for the next one. We'll talk, talk more about, because um, it'll be getting closer to June 1st to talk about the second part of it with the reading and the that challenge want to do that and what they'll win and everything perfect what do you think okay no all problem. right so we get to move on to yeah. some crafty things yes so um we have our teammate and tweemate we haven't done one of these for a while so they're coming back and this month we're going to be making paper flowers so the teens are going to make um one this is there's multiple um, ways you can make a flower out of paper. I can see myself in the reflection of the TV, and I just can't even handle like us with these hats on. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, we've worn? When we do our 20th anniversary, you know this is going to come back up. Um, but anyways, so this is one sample. This is made out of a old, like pages from an old book. Um, that was we. So that's for the teens. Mm -hmm. We'll make. It's a little bit more involved. So. Um, it is, but it's so... Yeah, it's cool, though. And it's, it's really not, cool. It's relatively simple. The reason why we're going to have the teens make it, not the tweens, is because it does get a little bit more intricate as we go on. But that's, again, one sample. We are going to make a couple... You'll have a couple different choices. So this is just the one sample we have so far. And then for the tweens, they're going to... So we're doing 3D flowers for the teens and 2D flowers for the tweens. So this is also made from a recycled book, but we just kind of cut the flower and then we um, layered it up and kind of pinched it to give it a little bit more um, dimension there. And this is, again, from a recycled that page is, of a book. I, 
that's I like so you'll that. So get your own little canvas. I'd be happy making that. Yeah. That's more my speed. Yeah. You know, I'd, I'd probably have a tough time with that. I don't know. You'd be surprised. Really? That's, it's fun. Okay. So, anyways, so that's, that's just some really of those samples. Cute. We're gonna have other ways of making flowers as well, but those are some of the options that you can do, and you can make multiple while supplies and time last. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be on June 11th. So the kids will be. It's like the nice fun way to start your summer vacation because you'll be out of school for a few days at that point. That, and because you're out, of, the kids are out of school, we don't have to wait till the after school time to do our programming. So True. we kind of shifted our time. So please make sure you're paying attention to that when you sign up. I know typically our tween events are immediately following the school hour. That isn't necessarily the case for the summer programs. So this one is gonna be at one o'clock for tweens and then the teens will meet at three. So make sure you're paying attention to the times when you sign up. Good thinking. That is going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're doing sewing 101 for teens. Yes. Is Sarah doing that? Yes. Upstairs Sarah. Yeah, upstairs Sarah. How yeah, cool is that? Yeah, we have two that? Sarahs now. We have an upstairs and a mm -hmm. downstairs. Yes. For 7th In through the maker space. Yeah. Teens only sewing yeah. class. I love it. Wednesday, uh, June 12th from 2 to 3.30. You know, when I was hearing about this and thinking about it i don't know if they do this anymore here at, at high school levels like home, home ec. ec no they don't and actually do you have anything called my, home ec or get ready for a house or <laughs> yeah no i don't really think no? that they do because my teen specifically asked for a sewing class because they don't do it yeah and, and i was at my mom's over the weekend and lucas was like look at this and i was like yeah i made that and he's like what you made and i had made these when i was in home ec in sixth yeah. grade we made pill like stuffed animal pillows and I made a pig a bug in a jar and a guitar mm -hmm. I think I made another one but that's the only ones that still exist but anyways and we had to sew them we had to do yeah. hand sewing and machine yep. sewing had to learn how to sew a button on in multiple ways yep. and so we did that in sixth grade and then in fifth grade we made like a little banner and that's also at my mom's and I was like I made that too mm -hmm. and he was like really I'm like yeah we made it in school and my brother this is dating, making him, he's older than I am. And when he and the kids in the room won't even know what I'm talking about. You maybe won't even. But when he was in home ec, he made MC Hammer pants from the rapper MC oh, Hammer. He used to wear like parachute pants. Parachute, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So that's what he made in home ec class oh, wow. in, the, in the 90s. And he sewed it himself. And he sewed them. Well, I think that became a take-home project that my mom ended up having to do Oh, okay. Of. Thanks, Mom. But, yeah. yeah, and we made shorts the one year in home ec. But that was in middle school, not high school. Yeah. Me, Did you anyways. keep up with any of it? No. Okay. I could sew a button on if I had to or like stitch a patch on yeah. or like, you know, something like I can hand sew, but the machine, I didn't keep up with any of yeah. that. I did right after, like back when, Back when I was in school, <laughs> and we did, we had it was home more ec, economical but half of it, what, half the year was sewing and half a year was cooking. Mm. So that was fun. Yeah. And it, the boys could do it too. And you, you like right. your brother. I mean, it wasn't. We were you, required to take it in middle yeah, school. Yeah, it wasn't, mm -hmm. yeah, it wasn't just girls or anything. And of course the boys loved it because, you know, cooking, yeah. especially when you're, you know, doing cookies and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff so yeah we had the we had called it was called culinary arts we had that in high school oh, i don't wow. know if they do that or not that's a good question but what's funny is like the teens now are requesting all of these kind of life skills classes yeah. and we actually are going to hopefully do a financial literacy class towards the end of the summer as well that's cool that they requested yeah mm -hmm. how cool good for them you guys do need to learn these things yeah just simple things it you just good to have in your little memory banks um yes. your book perfect brand new for the summer only since it's a three book series we're gonna read a book a month june july and august we're gonna be reading through the summer i turned pretty series by jenny Hahn. um super excited about that that was requested by the teens that come to our volunteer mm -hmm. group um so that will be an afternoon we'll, and i'll order um, pizza lunch for that will be on wednesdays at 12 o'clock so we'll come we'll eat pizza we'll gab about the book for a little bit we will not be showing the, sh um, the TV series, but we probably will um, compare and contrast for those of you that have seen mm. the series, but without giving away spoilers, spoilers for those who have not. Because um, there is definitely some differences between one and the other. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. And then our Night with WQED will be coming up the day after that on the 13th. And we'll be doing the TV series Don Quixote, which is a spinoff of um, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Donkey and the Purple Panda were like kind of background characters in the mm. land of make-believe. So he's 
or no, don Donkey's a girl, I believe. Whatever. So we'll be doing that on the Fun. 13th. Oh, yeah. Well, this is, and we're not even through the first half of June, mm -hmm. and we still have more. Yep. Excellent. That's so fun. Um, I've heard so much about the summer I turned pretty. Uh, that I think feel like that's something that I would like to try and read. I think you'll like it. Would I like mm -hmm. it? Okay. Well, there, every time you bring up books in here, because you know everybody reads YA, mm -hmm. um, or open to everything, I always think, oh, I want to try that one. Oh, I want to read that one. Oh, is that one? You know, yeah. so yeah, gets gets me thinking. I just have to start writing them all down to remember all the ones I want to read. Um, okay, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is building blocks of engineering. Pretty good one. Yeah, with, for grades. These are our tweens, 4th, 5th, and 6th on June 13th at 10 a.m. in the morning, 10 until 11.30. Let me read um, a little bit about it. Discover the world of engineering through a series of Kiva. Is that what Kiva. it is? Mm -hmm. K-E-V-A. Like they're, they're, they are a, like, block. Like a, like a wooden block, the, t the instructor is bringing them with him. Oh, okay. Through a series of Kiva um, plank challenges. And so join our Building Blocks of Engineering program to learn imaginative techniques to build and learn using Kiva planks. This is just so cool because oh, awesome. that's not something I was familiar with. So mm -hmm. I, I wanted to make sure that I read it to give him full credit for doing yeah. something so cool. So we're partnering actually with a local um, teacher who teaches STEM mm -hmm. at the middle at the middle grade level. And um, he is entirely volunteering his time. He just wanted to kind of give back to the community and um, teach some kind of STEM programming throughout the summer. because. Um, I think that the students he has might be a little bit older than the students that we're doing because he's hoping that if the kids can start to build these foundations for when they do go to mm -hmm. school. But um, he's just PT resident and just wants to help out and so volunteering his time. Offering multiple classes throughout the summer so they can come to one and then it will build upon but if they cannot attend all like he's going to kind of stagger like his teaching as well to, okay. to, to make it more differentiated yeah. based upon you know what yeah. they've built already so that's I cool. think it's gonna be really really cool yeah I love that yeah yeah I love that what a great attitude he has mm -hmm. you know just wanting to give back and then our students in the township benefit yeah how cool is yeah, that? yeah I agree mm -hmm. all right bringing up chess with the champion well as a matter of fact we just had it last night and uh, the next one coming up will be Tuesday June 18th at 6 30 with our new guy Mr. G um, I think we're, what, three months into him, maybe, yeah, the next one will be four, I think. And he's doing a great job. Mm -hmm. The kids are enjoying him and learning things. Um, I'm so busy in there, like, helping him um, just with basic things of, you know, if somebody needs help, I'll, like, help get his attention so that they're not right. going, you know, and, and stuff like that. And then I realized last night that... Um, <clears throat> I should be like start paying attention to because <laughs> you're getting like, stuck playing more, with the kids. Yeah, sometimes. I'm trying to help the kids and be part of it, but I should be paying attention to these lessons and things so that I can learn. But I did tell him a story of I did play. I used yeah. to play chess, and not that I was ever good and didn't play it on a regular basis. But I need to freshen my yeah, skills I don't, up. I be honest, I don't know. Because the play. little girl that asked me about the um, the uh, book or the bookmark. The bookmark. She played with you, but she did. She, she, she was the one I was playing against. And I told her, and I'm sorry, we only had really five minutes left. I'm like, oh, there, we just don't have time to, you know, we got to clean up. Or, you know what? How about a rain check? <laughs> I said, I'll give you a rain check. We'll play next time. Aww. And then all, and she was so excited about it. And then I thought about it and I went up and told Mr. G, I said, I have a month to freshen up, don't oh, I? That's so funny. <laughs> I said I can't let her down. Probably download an app and play on your phone or something. Yeah, start to read learning. I, I'm sure. Lucas actually learned a lot from playing on his tablet. Did he? Mm -hmm. Just doing those games and stuff. Yeah. So it's a great, you know, and like I told you, he's excited. Uh, Mr. G is really enjoying it, and he's even thinking about doing another. That's awesome. Uh, another program, like, you know, to have two a month with two different um, skill levels. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. So we're happy with that. 
perfect. Yes. So I talked about the summer term pretty book club. We're actually going to be offering two book clubs for teens um, just during the summer. So the summer term pretty, like I said, it's just for the summer because there's only it's only a three book series. We're just going to read throughout the summer. However, the teen choice book club um, is going through some changes. We used to always meet the first. Um, Saturday of the month, but we're actually switching a meeting on a Tuesday. So, look, can I see this? Yes. Yeah. Um, make sure I put the right date on there. Yeah. So it's going to be meeting okay. on Tuesday, June twenty fifth. Um, oh, okay. There was I forgot to change. That. Yes. Okay. So we're doing a little bit differently. We have a new staff, Miss Sarah. She's doing awesome, and she's going to be starting to help out with a lot of the teen and tween programming. And so she is actually going to be the staff that's going to be facilitating the teen book club going forward. So we're going to be meeting, they're going to be meeting on Tuesday evening, um, which is her evening to be at the library. They're going to be discussing The Star That Always Stays, which I forgot to bring my copy of that today. I have everything else, but that's okay. Um, and it is about a um, girl. It takes place, um, I want to say in the early 1900s, and it, the girl is um, a... Native American, and because the they're because of different conflict going on, she has to, and the, her family is moving, and she has to kind of hide her identity. So that's what that I haven't read it yet, but I've heard it's really good. So that's what they'll be discussing. It's called The Star That Always Stays by Anna Rose Johnson, and they'll be on Tuesday, the 25th. Sounds good. Yeah. And cool. In the evening. At, yeah. So it's no longer an um, afternoon program. It's going to be at, I believe, 6 30. Nice. That's nice. Um, okay, then we have the Tween Book Club. Uh, this month we will be reading, it sounded kind of summery to me. Uh, this is the June read. It's called The Thing About Jellyfish by Allie Benjamin. Hmm. And it says, sometimes when we feel most alone, the world can open up in mysterious ways. Susie Swanson has always known things that other kids don't. Uh, she can explain the sleep patterns of ants. How about that? She knows there are 150 million jellyfish stings on the planet every year. Wow. She knows the average middle school kid contains about 20 billion of Shakespeare's atoms. You know, and on and on and on. She knows so, lots of things. Yeah. She just sounds so smart. Um, so, you know, when this all comes down, when uh, she wants to learn the truth about how our uh, then she formulates a bold plan to travel across the globe alone to learn the truth about how her friend died. She discovers that the answer she most needs could be right in her own backyard. So it sounds like a good one. I just love that she just knows all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I also like that she, you know, knew, where was the, the bug one? Um, oh, oh, the sleep patterns of ants. And remember last month I did, um, I did, uh, what was it called, Chirp? Last month we did Chirp, and it was about a grandmother that, um, that uh, had a, a cricket go. farm. And she, you know, not grew, but, you know, had, had crickets. I guess. I guess raised and whatever. Crickets. So, Which it, I never heard of a cricket farm before, but then I, I guess it makes at, sense because you do, like, you can buy crickets at pet yeah, stores. Yeah, I looked it up. to get them somewhere. I looked it up. There was so much information, not only on the cricket farms, but how to do it, how to start it up, what to do with them. Oh, so this is what you're going to do in your next, next like, career we talk, is you're going to be a cricket farmer. You know what? It sounds like a nice retired thing to do, <laughs> doesn't it? No. <laughs> Honey, did anybody and check the crickets? And crickets, aren't they the ones that make, they, they make noise? Yeah. Yeah, with their little. Oh, my God. You okay. can't hear them talking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me just say this, and this isn't a plug for, for this shopping thing. You can find anything you need on Amazon. These are Irby's Mixed Bugs. Um... <laughs> They are. If you think I'm eating a bug, like you got to. Hey, we're, that, they're not even open yet. Dehydrated grasshoppers, house crickets. Oh, see now this one is kind of yucky. Silkworms, field crickets, um, sago worms. But they, are they made for human consumption, or are yes. they made for like give to the turtle? These are human consumption. These are these are cooked in. I think these. Why do I think they were like sea salt? Um. Anyway, 
The only food, yeah, there's no added anything. So they're oven dried, not fried, 100% natural ingredients, and they are seasoned with salt. So the only. <laughs> no, I can't, I can't even. I you can them. see them. Like, you remember in The Lion King when you're they're saying, like, you want to rustle up some grub and yeah. they just throw the rock and there's all the worms. Yeah, and well, eat this it? is grub. That's rustling up some grub. Yeah, but, but there's like a wing right here. <laughs> right there. Next to the, like the little seal, like the little freshness packet, and I can see like some <laughs> limbs. Oh my word! Are you gonna make the kids eat these things? Well, I'm gonna ask them if they'd like to try. <laughs> the only thing it there's only one warning on these packages, and the warning is um, if you have an allergy to uh, shellfish. Which is interesting. Which is I, real. That's what I thought, too. I thought yeah. that was really interesting. And we interesting. have two minutes left. This is how yeah, we're that, ending. I'm not eating that thing. Well, like, then I, you talk. You've tried poison me enough on this show. You're trying to eat it. That was only watermelon. It. Here. Okay. You so finish anyways, it up I'll finish up while you're, if you eat one, I would love that. But I would like them to document I'm afraid. this like, in so many ways. Okay. I'm you afraid. talk. Okay. But anyhow. So. I'm um, afraid to open it like Oh, this. my God. She's opening with her teeth anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! She's got a she got a leg in her mouth. No, it's all right. So <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Okay, go ahead. Okay, yeah, no problem. So our last event that we have in the beginning of um, June is we are having oh. the Carnegie um, Science Center come with our mobile planetarium. Now, in years past, we actually had the big inflatable planetarium. Because of the way that our um, lobby is now, our front desk has shifted in things. <gasps> Go oh ahead. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Keep talking. Um, and oh. so the, the mobile planetarium no longer will fit there. But when they have it in a way they, with projectors and stuff, that they can, like, simulate what the planetarium would look like. So we're still going to be able to do the program. So we have two of them. We're going to offer one called One World, One Sky, which we've actually had years oh. and years ago. Oh, it is um, about – no one's even listening to me because they have, they're have zooming ahead. in on your – They're listening. Uh, I, okay. Um, it's partnered with Sesame Street. So they use Sesame Street characters. Oh, it's like – oh, my God. <laughs> It's like a peanut. <laughs> it's, all right, pretend it's but a peanut. But you can still see, like, it's little, like, Look at this one. Legs and with stuff. With the wings. Yeah, oh, my God. I know. And you can still see his little noggin. Oh, it looks like his noggin got chopped off. I guess he's with Walt Disney. And, okay, keep talking. Um, a noggin. But anyways. Um, we'll taste so one So we have that end. one going on. And then immediately following that, we have planets, which is for a little bit older kids. Um, where they're going to learn about the different planets and things. So that's going to be done at the library on June 14th. Um, the One World, One Sky is at 10, and then Planets is at 11.30. Because there, we only have a certain amount of space to um, put these programs on, we ask that, your fa even though they are two different shows, we ask that your family decides as a group which one to attend, and you only attend one, so that way we are able to open it up to more and more families. Okay. All right, cheers. We have about you 20 yeah. seconds. Are you going to do it? I'm not eating that thing. Yeah, you are. I'm it's not. little, and then no. swallow. This is, this is book buzz. This is not Fear Factor. <laughs> do you remember books. that show? Yes. All right. Go for it. Here we go. Whoop. too quick i would have couldn't even get my phone out at least kelsey's got this filmed i think you know we can she can do one of those like little quick like reels that <laughs> it needs more salt <laughs> oh those are well, one of those that, that looks note, like a slug um you know you can do you've seen it here on uh book buzz everyone here. miss linda just ate a um deep fried it looked like bug. one of those what did you say they had on um Lion King. The grub. They have that looked like that was a grub, grub that I ate. Yeah. Doesn't, okay, well. Doesn't really taste like anything. Didn't have very good, <laughs> didn't have good flavor. But now we have like little particles of like ex exoskeleton on our <laughs> desk. Exoskeleton. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. We'll bring some more bugs. Oh my gosh. You'll eat one. I won't.